So what is this comedy boot camp? Well, okay, so in the boot camp, we're learning about the elements of comedy and we're practicing free writing and doing exercises together and then we have to get up and perform them every day in front of our classmates. I was actually super nervous because I got in because I felt like, you know, I don't want to take things that belong to service members. I don't want, you know what I mean? Kind of an outsider, I'm a civilian. So uh, they've been really, really nice and welcoming to me though. That's good. Yeah. So how do you think it's going? I mean, and it's interesting to dissect a joke like word for word and say why it is or isn't funny, how it could be funnier. Um, like apparently in my Carrie Underwood joke, I wasn't clear that the subject was Carrie Underwood. I called her Ms. Underwood. And I mean, that could be anybody. What was your Carrie Underwood joke? Um, oh, was it man. about that terrible song? Yes. Okay. Which one? The the allegedly you might be yes. cheating on me, so I should destroy your life. We've talked about this. Yes. Uh, how's Doug dealing with all this? Like, I mean, it's got to be kind of hard. You being away on weekends. Yeah, Doug works long hours, so you know weekends are kind of like our time. And he's been so generous to watch Elsie every Saturday and taking nights out to do open mics. And you know he's just been really awesome and supportive. He's like, if it makes you happy, do it. Well, that's great. Doug's a good guy. So what's up with this uh, thing tonight? Well, okay, so last week uh, our instructor was saying like, no open mic nights. I went up to him afterwards and told him that uh, I've already been doing open mic nights. He said, okay, well, I just want to set you up to be successful. And he told me uh, where he thinks I would do best. I have no sense of time and how long I've been on stage. So uh, I'm hoping to get better at timing it. I've heard if you go over that uh, it's really bad and he'll never call you back, so. Oh. I think that's why I'm nervous, <laughs> yeah. yeah. How's everybody doing tonight? <laughs> By a round of applause, many people have never ever been here before. Clap, you've never ever been here before. Good, a lot of new people. You guys ready to have some fun tonight? <laughs> that spandex like that while he's riding that bike. That's a ridiculous look, isn't it? It's definitely different to come here compared with our class where it's just this little safe nest. Woo! Put your hands together, make her feel welcome stage. May Brayton, make some noise for May. We love her I found out uh, three days before my husband deployed that our nanny was blogging on her sex blog about how she was going to do my husband. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. So we sat down and had a talk, and her response was, I don't see the big deal. I, like, OK, travel with me to an alien planet where there are sacred bonds of pancakes, OK? Somebody comes in, oh, you've been eating pancakes with someone else. All right, you said my pancakes were the best. You would have them forever. I saw you spreading your syrup all over some Rudy Tootie, fresh and fruity. Uh-uh, no, I haven't been going out. I can flap some jack, but I did not flap one jack. I could have had an international house of pancakes. I did not go anywhere. Oh, okay, all right. It all sounds crazy because how are there franchises of IHOP and Denny's in another galaxy. I understand, the whole thing's bonkers. I'm Mae Brayton, thank you, see you again soon. <laughs> I think the thing I learned tonight, most importantly, was not to try so hard for a laugh. Like, let it come naturally, be myself. It was a really good experience to be able to take notes and to see ways that I could improve. There were crickets moments where I know I need to learn to polish a little more what I've been presenting just kind of aspire to be one of those comics, like some of the ones up here that just capture the whole room. Comedy boot camp. You people get ready to laugh. <laughs> <laughs>